Good evening to all of you who gather this night to honor those who are being celebrated and recognized by the Center for Migration Studies. I'm especially grateful that the Center has included Elena Segura among the honorees. Growing up in Omaha, Nebraska, I was surrounded by immigrants who, like my grandparents, came to this country seeking a better life, and some of them seeking safety and freedom, having fled their homelands that were torn by tyranny and strife. One thing I learned from my parents was that no matter which country the neighbors came from, they were our neighbors and deserve respect and help whenever they asked. We need to recapture that spirit today in our nation. Our broken immigration system leaves so many in the shadows, fearing deportation and family separation. It also creates an environment in which people without documentation are easy prey for those who take advantage of the vulnerable. This situation also seems to give to some license to speak about the undocumented in demeaning and inhumane ways, as we see in the present public discourse of some seeking public office. We know firsthand the harm done to people due to the lack of comprehensive immigration reform. For the Archdiocese of Chicago is home to hundreds of thousands of our brothers and sisters who are undocumented. There are few people in my mind who have done more than Elena Segura in advocating for and helping immigrants. Elena, you have shown remarkable leadership and extraordinary dedication, not only in advocating for immigrants, but in promoting their human dignity and rights. You have been at this since the day the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops launched the Catholic Campaign for Immigration Reform 10 years ago here in Chicago. You are a true servant leader in accompanying the immigrant community on this long journey and empowering them towards their integration in society. You have worked tirelessly to alleviate their suffering, dispel their fear, and to remove the barriers that prevent many hardworking men, women, and their families from being able to pursue their God-given potential and fully share their God-given gifts. There may be no better example than the infrastructure that is in place in many of the Archdiocese of Chicago's Hispanic and Polish parishes through immigrant leadership ministry to respond to the multitude of needs that immigrants face. Pastoral Migratoria itself represents an achievement that will benefit the church for many years to come. Elena, thank you for your efforts. Congratulations for receiving the Humanitarian Service Award tonight. Congratulations to all the honorees and thanks to the Center for Migration Studies for your invaluable work, leadership, and support. I hope all of you enjoy the rest of the evening. Hello, Elena. I hope you're enjoying your time in New York. As your colleague and friend, I want to congratulate you on your receiving the Humanitarian Service Award at the Center for Migration Studies. I can think of no one that deserves it more than you. As you know, you and I have known each other for quite a few years and had the opportunity to work with each other. And I've seen you uh, in contact with so many people uh, going through, especially since the beginning of the, the Pastoral Migratoria, the USCCB effort that started over 10 years ago. And as you know, we've had many ups and downs, many moments of uh, hope. And then, of course, we see that through our Congress and government, uh, we have to continue on. And you've been able to to go through all this and, and continue to maintain hope. Uh, you've been able to stay to connected with all the different networks that have been formed, networks of priests, over 200 priests, in the archdiocese and many, many religious and lay people. And you and I have worked together on, on uh, helping people to prepare for a, a ministry to migrants. And I've been able to 
uh, taking part in the commissioning of some of them. You're a woman of, of, of great faith, great dedication, hard work, a woman of prayer, and I admire you very much for that. Uh, I think that uh, we could do no better. You would do the Archdiocese of Chicago great honor by receiving this. We are the only a diocese in the country that has an office for uh, immigration and, and it's because primarily of your efforts so once again congratulations to you and I'd also like to congratulate Mr. Don Kerwin and the Center for uh, Migration Studies. I've known Don for quite a few years too and, and this is such an important issue in our country at this time. Hello Elena, on behalf of the Pastoral Migratoria and its 200 leaders from 45 parishes across the Archdiocese of Chicago, we want to congratulate you on the award you're receiving tonight from the Center on Migration Studies. We're so proud of you. Hi Elena, I wanted to say thank you. Through your vision and commitment, you have allowed us to make a world of difference. You believe in us as immigrant leaders. We were able to not only get the support that was necessary to make changes, but because of you and all the uh, help from everyone else, we were able to receive the licenses that were approved for our community. Because of that, there is more safe and confidence that people will not be separated. You have allowed us to be able to represent Pastoral Migratorio, to support and accompany everyone, especially the families, to keep them together. I want to thank you for all your hard work and you training us, we've been able, we've been allowed to serve our community, informing them so that they will not fall into fraudulent um, documents. We were also able to give this, the, the our sabatinas, which was uh, available for people that needed to get their birth certificates from their country of origin and also get the matricula. I want to thank you because I've been inspired by you. I met you three years ago when I went to say goodbye to my husband at Broadview. Because of you, I have involved myself to serve our community because I don't want any other families to be separated. Because of the faith you have in me, and I've been very blessed, I will continue serving my community. Thank you once again, and this award is well deserved. God bless. Felicitaciones, Elena, por este merecido premio que vas a recibir del Centro de Estudios para Migrantes, que son nuestros hermanos. Así es que te felicitamos de todo corazón en nombre de todos mis compañeros de la Pastoral Migratoria Nuestra Señora de Lourdes.